Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Madison. And this is Motivational, Motivational Monday. Monday. Today we have on one of our own Quakertown teachers, Mr. Ryan Settler. He's here to talk about his weight loss challenge program he designed to spread a healthy lifestyle throughout our community. Hi, my name is Mr. Ryan Stetler. I am in my ninth year teaching at Quakertown High School. I coach cross country here. I have been a health teacher here and I'm currently teaching 10th grade English. The challenge that we are undertaking here is the Biggest Loser competition. This is the third year that we are participating in the Biggest Loser. Last year we had 35 people participating. This year we have 32 teachers participating. And up to this point it has been very successful. It's a 12 week competition and we'll wait to see exactly what the final number looks like after this week, but the gains have been substantial once again, so it's been a lot of fun. The competition is meant to give some motivation, uh, some extra incentive to compete in a healthy manner with people within school, a little bit of camaraderie between department mates, between friends, to uh, try to lose the most weight possible, but ultimately it's for your own healthy lifestyle, so uh, this is just a motivating factor for other people. Up to this point, it's been really successful. I think that um, you know checking in with people on a weekly basis is a way to hold them accountable. This challenge is important because current statistics in the United States say that uh, over 30% of our population as a nation are overweight or obese, which is important for a couple reasons. They say that this generation of children will be the first to not outlive their parents in life expectancy for the first time in history. We have an epidemic of overweight and obesity. We have an epidemic of um, sedentary lifestyle. And you know, technology is great for us, but it's also caused people to you know, put off some of the things that we've done for a long, long time, which is really take care of ourselves and get our bodies moving. So it's really important that we set a positive example as teachers. It's really important that we um, you know, take care of ourselves. I know sometimes as a teacher, stress levels can get pretty high. So exercise is a great way to relieve stress, but it's also a really important goal that we as teachers, while we're dealing with children at such an impactful time in their lives, lead by example, show them what it's like to be healthy, to motivate ourselves intrinsically, and not always have rewards at the end if the reward is internal. For me, um, sports, exercise, fitness, uh, nutrition has always been an important part of my life. Uh, in high school, I was a baseball, basketball, and football player. And um, after graduating from high school, I realized that as much as I love team sports, you don't really play that much anymore. So you need to find a way to stay active, to stay healthy other than playing team sports. And for me, that was running. I got into running during my uh, sophomore year of college and decided that I wanted to run a marathon. Uh, obviously, starting with a marathon is pretty uh, bold, so I decided I wanted to begin with a 5K, then I worked up to a five mile race, then I worked up to a 10 mile race, then I worked up to a half marathon, and finally hit that marathon. Um, to this day, I still run regularly. Right now I'm in training for the Broad Street, which is a 10 mile race in Philadelphia. This will be the fifth year in a row that I'm running the Broad Street race, which is about two weeks away. So pretty excited for that. And I coach cross country here to try to help people um, recognize the benefits of this sport and you know the many long lasting effects you have of training your body and working out the mental part of the sport and working out the mental part of fitness in general. Society and weight loss today um, is tricky because everybody wants to find that secret pill that you can take that makes it easy for you. The thing you have to understand is that there's no free lunch in nature. You need to put in the time, you need to put in the effort. There's no magical pill that's going to make you lose weight. There's no magical diet that's going to help you lose weight. It's really all about a calorie balance. For anyone who wants to change their life, for anyone who wants to start this uh, cycle of living clean, living fresh, exercise, diet, it's important to understand that it's all connected. Eating right, exercise, they go hand in hand. I always recommend starting off slow. 
set reasonable goals for yourself. Make sure that you um, set a length of time, so have a time in your day and say, you know what, from four o'clock to five o'clock is my exercise time and nothing's gonna get in the way of my exercise time. This is the time for me. Gradually just start increasing the length of time that you're exercising while not focusing on the speed, not focusing on the distance, just the time. That's the most important at first, and then once you've gotten into a routine, a rhythm, that's when you can really start ramping up the speed, the intensity, the weight. Work yourself into it gradually. I promise you that if you do, you're going to feel better, you're gonna have a ton more energy, you're gonna like seeing the results, um, both physically and uh, emotionally, and I can't say enough for what exercise and living a healthy lifestyle has done for my life, and I try to spread that on to as many people as possible.